Welcome back to From. That first episode got me hooked. I really want to see what happens. Sounds like someone is cutting a tree down. What's going on? So wait, what what happened the previous night? Well, ominous cold open right there. Okay. Yeah, so we are going to stay with this first night. Okay. Under the neck. Under the neck. It's a rough night, I know. Is everyone okay in there? They're back. That's a dirty trick. That is such a dirty trick. I'm gonna help him in then. Jim, no! Jim. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Sorry, this is for your own good. People and me are not here to help, Jim. You'll understand soon enough. It is so very dark, and you are all very outside. Oh my god, please get inside already. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh. Like, it's mean, but I would leave him. I would just leave him. Be like, it's it's very much nighttime. I gotta go. Bye. Ellis is out there. What's wrong with you? I can't. No. Sit, no. I mean, yeah, from their perspective, I probably wouldn't open the door either. Would the monsters know, like personal secrets or anything oh shit oh my god open the door <laughs> open the door open the door open the door stop looking at those people no 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 okay, well i mean they didn't like immediately attack them as monsters which i find interesting you don't have to get down no you shut your mouth i said get on the goddamn floor do what she says now it's okay tie them up Donna, come on. Again, the monster that killed the little girl and her mother. Why are you doing this? Just immediately. We're not gonna do anything. Turned into a monster and shredded Please. them. Can they stay as a human and just like pose are as a gone? regular person to secretly to do tell. a little subterfuge? Like. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey. I'm freaked out by needles too, man. Don't worry. That's it. That, look, look at me. Look at me. Is he from the RV? No. But it's pretty. So is he. <laughs> I mean, he's very handsome. Yeah, he is. Don't touch anything. Okay? I need to see Julie! She's good. She's fine. How did they separate them? That seems a little cruel. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, stop! Hey, Julie! Hey, hey, Julie! Stop! I mean, okay. fair enough to make an attempt, you know? She doesn't know what's going on. There are things you need to know about where you are, about the way things are now. Do you believe in monsters? Well, no. Hello. Hi, creepy. I was gonna open them in my room, but I'll open them here. If you want some? I don't think she does, man. Why are you being One of those two cars, such huh? a creeper? That hasn't happened. <laughs> okay, I don't like him. He's creepy, but he's harmless. He's just been here a really long time. Are you sure okay. he's harmless? Sorry about the... Sometimes people freak out a bit the first night. Really? I guess that makes sense. Is that why those guys pointed guns at us? There's something I'd really like to show you. Who did all this? Ellis. He's a great he's artist. He's really talented. Because you're beautiful. That's not funny. I wasn't being <laughs> funny. I don't think that was a joke. Those things out there. They whisper, try to get in your head. Just remain calm and ignore it. Just ignore it. What happens if they get in? Oh, we're dead. <laughs> the talisman, what if it, what is it? Christy? What if it falls? Christy. What if it falls? Christy, hey, hey. I'm gonna rattle you. Get in your head. Make you do something stupid. You know that. They're, they're doing a good job. Like, just, just the sounds of them trying to get in is really freaking me out. You got this, kiddo. You got it. You got this. Okay. Okay. Be focused. I mean, if you didn't leave the fucking spike strip down. Are you right? hey, hey, hey. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Just in case you can use a little something to take the edge off. No, I could. Just... Thank you. Yeah, whatever. You're Except such you a wanted. douche. I, I can't stand him. You good. Just better. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> I, I want my son! It's okay. He went home for the night. He'll be back tomorrow. Come on. Let's go. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. That's okay. Just... Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut it. 
Got it, okay. Why did she kill him? Again, I have my theory that it's because she doesn't want anyone else to live like this. I can't do anymore. Do any, can you be more you specific? Should. Who are you talking to? Girl, are you hearing voices in your head? It's not like you can leave, so... How? You're definitely gonna get found out, right? Who are you speaking to? All of it. All of what? No, not his tongue, man. What the fuck is going on with her? After what happened to Lauren and Megan, I can't find any more bodies. I get the feeling we're gonna be finding at least a few bodies on this show, so I sure hope you can get it together. She's still talking to... To Donna? Donna. Yeah. Yeah, right. Right. Wonder how that conversation is going. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I saw. That's what my sister said. I was gonna say, that's what they all say. God damn it, she was stubborn. Instead, she grabbed her shotgun and got out of the car, and then it ripped her face off. Right in front of me. Jesus. Ripped it clean off. And then I saw another one coming toward the car, and that's when I ran. Some bushes at the edge of the forest. Called into them and hid. That's what people used to do to survive here. They weren't just killing her. They were torturing her. Why? Like, what is, what is their M.O.? Those, uh, things are well, the character I feel the worst for at the current moment is definitely Donna. I build theme park attractions. Oh, sick. Roller coasters, drop towers, stuff like that. I absolutely love theme parks and roller coasters, so I like you a lot, sir. Thank you for the fun. What was I trying on the wall? How did, how did you see that? They're in the drawings. Did the kid just have like a prophetic vision right there? What the hell was that? You got a second chance now, you know. And then you saw the tree. That's fucked. You saw the tree. Can you guys maybe not sit in the middle of the stairs? Right. Can you not be an asshole for three seconds? Right, yeah, we just uh. Don't apologize. Fuck him. I'm gonna get some dinner started. Wait. How would she have been able to get back home? Is she, like, working with the monsters or some shit? Like, what? Will you please help me? I don't think anyone should help you. You gotta go. When, when there's no work, there's, there's nightmare. Poor guy. Okay. Dementia is one of the, like, my worst fears for what could happen to me when I get older. And they- she left the fucking door open? Oh, she has to die. I hate her. I hate her. What? Just stop touching it, sir. So how's this work? Oh god, Jim, no. no! Oh my god. Hey, hey. hey Christy. You just dozed off. <laughs> that freaks me out so bad. You can't fool me with a nightmare like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's another rule that I understand now, though. Like, once you put the talisman up, like, don't touch it. Don't mess with it or move it. Like, leave it alone. That's so sad, though. Like, he, he's gonna come here and be like, oh, she's safe. Okay, I don't have to find another body, but I guarantee his dad is dead. Do you know the story about the little girl in a room filled with broken glass. No one cares about the little girl in the room with broken glass. You know, Fuck broken you. Her brother better turn her in for that. Like, if he doesn't, fuck him too. Ah. Uh... Oh, no. I forget her name, but that girl's got to die. She better die. I'm so genuinely pissed about this, um, this turnout here. <laughs> and to know that they got, like, such a slow, agonizing death as well. What are you doing out here? I, uh, Felling a tree, you know? I, uh, Having a bad day. Wood for the new set. They never run. 
You ever notice that? I'm starting to. What are you looking at? Nothing. Don't be creepy. What are you looking at? What the fuck? Ooh, that gave me chills. I don't like that. What the hell is going on? Uh, I like that episode actually a lot more than the first one. That was even better. As I expected, this episode was a lot more exposition than the first one. But not in a bad way. For once, the exposition did not seem to be really clunky and... It never became like a major problem for the pacing. It all was pretty evenly spaced out and given it moments that it actually felt pertinent. And it did explain a few more rules about how this whole situation works. Again, now I know once the talisman has been placed on the enclosed space, you cannot move it. If you move it, you're gonna run into some serious problems as evidenced by the nightmare that um, Christy had, which terrified me. I really thought that that was sort of the end for those characters for just a moment. They they actually got me there. I also learned that the monsters never run after you. Uh, they only walk, which in a way alleviates some of my tense feelings with the situation, because that means if you are out in the open, which I'm positive is going to happen more than once, you can theoretically outrun them and potentially even hide in a place long enough for the sun to rise and you actually survive. Not an ideal situation, but it does not mean like, okay, you're stuck outside, it's dark, you're dead. Doesn't necessarily mean that. There are ways to get around it if you're crafty and fast enough. I also learned that the monsters like to kill for sport, um, not even kill, they like to torture for sport. They really enjoy their killings. It is clearly not a necessity of theirs. They're not doing this to survive. They're doing this to play with their food, which is exceptionally evil. <laughs> and I, I really wonder like what they are. My leading theory is still Wendigo, but perhaps Again, maybe they're just demons of a sort. They're straight from hell that just want to torture and kill as many people as they can. I don't know. They suck, though. I didn't think they would be able to keep that level of tension from that first episode going here, but they managed to extend it through almost this entire episode. Even in the more quiet scenes, because I was really concerned that the new family was going to do something stupid and, like, try to leave or open a window or something along those lines so they, they did a great job holding that level of tension from the first episode and carried it over i mean just the scene with them in the rv where you can hear them like tapping on the sides of the rv and like crawling over it and i think one of them said you should have let us in uh like, even knowing the rules sort of stated, like, if you don't let them in, you're going to be fine. I was freaking out. I'm like, what if there's, like, a crack in the window and that's enough for them to come inside? <laughs> I was just freaking out. Like, it was a brilliant sound design right there. However, there were more questions raised in this episode. First and foremost, who is Sarah hearing? Like, what are these voices in her head? Is she straight up schizophrenic and is just imagining these voices? Is she hearing the monsters? Have they somehow gotten into her head and are having her be like an accomplice to their torturous murders? Because why on earth did she kill that man and then seemingly cut out his tongue, which was awful, and then leave the door open to have everyone else inside killed as well? Like, I'm assuming that needed to be done so that she could again not be found out right away but how did she survive opening the door like again i feel like she's working with these monsters they actually want her on their side at least for the time being which makes the monsters a whole lot more intelligent than i thought they were going to be unless that's not what's going on like again i don't know they didn't answer what the voices were 
but they did clearly say at one point the monsters try to get into your head and mess with you, so that's kind of what I'm thinking is going on. And it turns out she's doing that because she thinks somehow this is going to lead to them being able to go home. I don't know, she's a uh, fucking nuts, and I hate her because she got them all killed. She got that nice old man and that nice nurse killed, and I really, really despise her. Again, if her brother doesn't turn her in, fuck him. Fuck him. The other major question is what the hell is going on with Ethan? He said he saw all these, like, crayon drawings all over the walls, which we later see is creepy man's uh, room, and he's drawing all these pictures. What's his name? Victor? Don't like him. <laughs> Do not like him. They even stated that he was the like the earliest survivor of the town, which curious to see what that whole story is going to be about. And then Ethan saw that creepy little boy outside the window that apparently Julie could not see. Everything is weird. I don't know what's going on. I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out. <laughs> Genuinely freaked out. And I love it. Uh, I haven't watched something that's like actually creeped me out and given me like a good scare in a little while now. And not only is it succeeding in that, but it's making some very compelling characters here. It's really holding my interest, which I gotta say, a lot of mystery shows don't just because I get really impatient and I'm like, can we just get to the answers already? Like, we're dragging this out. It's really frustrating me. And maybe that'll change as the show goes on. I'm only on the second episode. But I'm happy to go along for the ride right now. Like, it's um, thoroughly engaging. Overall, I'm going to give this episode an 8.7 out of 10. Again, I think it was better than the first. I really enjoyed how things uh, played out here. I was genuinely terrified once uh, that nightmare happened and uh, Jim grabbed the talisman and the monster like shot out from the roof that like really freaks me out the pacing while being quite slow and exposition heavy never felt like it was dragging um it was really quite good that being said there was still maybe a scene or two that took a little bit longer than i would have liked so pacing was not perfect just very good but yeah i'm wondering where we go from here like is this going to be a show where they do eventually find a way to leave or combat the monsters in some way or is this entirely just survival like how bad can this all get i don't know i mean these people have been here for so so long it doesn't seem like there is a solution to leave but perhaps they will find one i guess we'll just have to keep watching and see so i will see you all on that next one and that's about it <laughs>